Thanks, Blaine. Part of life as a smoke eater is getting used to long bus trips. The shortest trip the smoke eaters have is four hours to Penticton. And often, they're heading to one place like a Penticton or a West Kelowna or a Salmon Arm even, and then getting right back on the bus and coming back. Nobody in the BCHL travels more than the smoke eaters. And as a result, they have certain disadvantages they have to deal with. 20 of the first 29 games for trail this season were on the road. And I talked to the coaching staff and one of the uh, longtime smoke eaters about what that entails. Yeah, and I think, you know, I think it's something you get used to. I, I mean, I honestly do. I think, uh, um, you know, you look at, uh, at those four-hour trips, I think, uh, you know, usually those four-hour trips are, are the games where we are our freshest. Um, but when you, uh, you go to a five-and-a-half, six-hour trip or even an eight-hour trip, um, you know, you're begging for a four-hour. So I think it is something that you just get accustomed to, and, uh, you know, the guys have the routines that help them, uh, you know, adjust to it. Yeah, you know, it's really tough at the start, especially uh, – you kind of want to get into a rhythm at home, and it's really easy. I mean, I know last year we started at home quite a bit, and that helped our team for sure. But uh, on the other hand, you uh, you start to come together as a group, and you get to know your teammates a lot quicker because we're hanging out in the hotel rooms and on the bus trips and all that lot. So, I mean, on that aspect, it's a good thing, I guess. Now, you, as the, the coach who plans the road trips, uh, what do you try to do to maximize the team's energy to, to make sure they're in the best uh, condition possible? Well, I think just, just like I said, finding something to amuse them. I know every once in a while we'll... Uh, We'll do a workout on the road or, you know, if we have an off day, we'll try and skate or practice or we'll just do something fun to kind of get their minds off the grind. And, um, you know, and like I alluded to, the meals are so important on the road and we try and, uh, you know, vary those up a little bit and, and keep things, uh, you know, a little less monotonous. But, I mean, at the end of the day, chicken and pasta are chicken and pasta. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, staying hydrated is really key. Drinking lots of water on the road and just not eating, not eating a lot of junk food and, just getting your rest and uh, yeah, staying healthy. I don't know about the junk food. It seems like a lot of the guys still do. I know there's a couple guys like their junk food, but I guess it's not too big of a deal if they're uh, doing well on the ice. There's probably nothing better than that celebration you guys have when you win a game uh, on the road. You bust out the sweet Caroline, and, and I don't think the guys are ever happier all season long. Yeah, you know that's a pretty fun little ritual we did. The first time we uh, did it last year as a rookie, I was uh, didn't know what was going on, but all the vets at the back of the bus were yelling at me to jump up and start singing. So. It's pretty fun once you get everyone doing it. Plus, you get to know, you know, who has some strange movie taste, like uh, when Jaden Porterfield busted out Blazing Saddles last year. Yeah, I think that's the only time that one will ever get brought out. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of recycled movies in, in the ones that we watch, but, uh, you know, I think the guys have a good time on the bus, and it seems to make the time go by pretty good. What would you say are, are the most commonly used movies throughout your term here? This is your fourth season, I believe, with Trail? Yeah, it's my fourth year, and I, I have to say I've probably seen Old School about 200 times. Uh, old School, Wedding Crashers, um, Super Bad. Uh, I mean, there's you, you name any comedy that, uh, that's been, you know, somewhat of a hit in the last five, six years and uh, it's pretty steady in the rotation. I think there's one though that we maybe are guaranteed to see every year no matter how long we're doing this. Yeah, the guys really like to watch Notting Hill. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, you know what? Uh, Slapshot would be that one. We, we didn't watch Slapshot my first year at all. Tim didn't like it and uh, I mean that's a movie that uh, you watch over and over again as a hockey player and, and it's kind of get worn out but uh, it's nice to watch every once in a while. It's a good laugh and and uh, you know, maybe bring back a little bit of old-time hockey. I know I model myself on Dave Carr. Well, you're doing a good job, Mosey. As you can see, there are ups and downs to life on the road for any BCHL club, especially the Smoke Eaters. But now they've got two-thirds of their road games out of the way, and you as a fan can come and support them as they've got a heck of a lot of home games coming up at the Kaminko Arena. Check trailsmokeeaters.com for the schedule. But when the Smokies are on the road, you can always count on Mountain FM to bring you coverage. And speaking of that, I'm Sean Mullen, and I've got a bus to catch.